Today we're looking at how technology can help us simplify academic research. If you are involved in a qualitative study, looking for a simple and intuitive way to organize, sort, and just generally make sense of the data that you are collecting, then this lesson is just for you. By the end of this video, you will learn how to simplify coding of the interview scripts, how to neatly organize your codes, and altogether streamline the process of data analysis. Let's open our internet browser and head over to delvtool.com. Once you land on their page, click on Login and create an account. Once your account is created, you will land on the Delve homepage, and this is what it looks like. Let's begin by giving our research project a name. It's time to add transcripts that we will be coding afterwards. Let's click on Transcript Plus and click on Get Started. There are several ways how you can add transcripts to the Delve tool. I personally like simply dragging and dropping them from my desktop. These are my transcripts. To add transcript to the Delve tool, I need to simply click, drag, and drop it into the window. Delve will take some time to analyze the transcript. I can click Done, and my transcript has been added to the Delve tool, and I'm ready to get into the coding. But before we do that, let's add a few more transcript. Let's select a few more and add them to the Delve tool. Let's click done. And now transcripts are neatly organized in a Delve tool. Now that my transcripts are successfully imported into the Delve tool, I can start the coding process. I will click on participant one, read through the interview script, and once I see a theme that I think is worth a code, I will select this snippet and assign a new code. I will create a new code and call it different. Once the code is created, it's now available on my right. As I go through this script, I can now select a different sentence and either assign the same code that I used before by clicking here, or I can altogether create an entirely new code, let's call it eSports. Now I have two co codes, I have eSports that has been used once and I have different that have been used two times. I will carry on reading through the scripts and once I see element that I think is worth mentioning, I will highlight this element and assign either a new code or use one of the codes that I've used before. When I go to participant number two, you will notice that my codes that I created while I was codifying the first participant transcript are carried over to my second participant, so I don't have to create them from scratch. I can simply continue uh, looking for patterns. Something important in the second script, I can assign the same code or I can create a new one. Let's now switch to the research project to see what the process will look like when you are finished. For these purposes, I'll demonstrate my own research that I completed several months ago. In this research, I've had about 15 participants, and as you can see, all transcripts have been codified. This blue lines right here will tell you that elements have been added a code. You can see my codes are on the right, though they have been grouped together in uh, categories or in Excel codes, and this is exactly what I would like to show you next. Once the open codes have been generated, we can start by grouping them together or making categories or Excel codes as they are known in the theory. And I would like to now show you how to do that. Let's now go back to our YouTube research where we only have four open codes. And now I think it's time to group them together into the categories. So to do that, I will um, move to one of the participants and then without selecting any codes, I will create an Excel code. I will open a bracket, um, put Excel and say, let's call it theme one. When the Excel code has been created, I can now simply drag Minecraft and student on the, the Excel code and both codes will align themselves. I will now create Excel theme two. Now that my theme two is ready, I will drag and drop eSports in theme two, as well as different. Now I have two themes and each theme will have two 
open codes. Let's now have a look at other options, how you can view your data using Delft tool. We can look at snippets or we can use at codes. Uh, honestly speaking, I haven't used our snippets in my research, but as far as I understand, those are the actual snippets of the text and then the codes that have been assigned to them. I found the code view more meaningful and I've used that a lot in my research. The codes view give you a general picture of the Excel codes if you have them and then the underlying open codes. What I also like doing with the codes is to export whatever data you have for a more in-depth view. To do that, click on three dots and then export as doc. Once you've done that, the Word document will be generated that will that will be populated with all the codes that you have created in Delft tool. We have our first Excel or theme code. We have two open codes, the different and eSport, and we have all the snippets that correspond to the open code different, their position here, and we have other snippets that have been assigned eSports code, and they're right here. We also have our Excel theme too, and we have codes that correspond to the open code here. We have two open codes, student2, um, student, and Minecraft, and we have corresponding snippets right here. This view is particularly helpful when you start reporting your findings. Um, you can simply uh, copy and paste the text from here. After I copied this text or I mentioned this uh, snippet in my actual paper, I would highlight it. Uh, this will indicate me that this snippet has been referred to and I can move on. Another thing that is helpful is uh, if you want to maybe see the context for this particular snippet, you can click on participant two and this will take you exactly to the uh, transcript from where this snippet has been taken to give it a little bit of a context. So what we've done today, uh, we went to delftool.com, we created our YouTube research, we then imported our transcripts, we then went ahead, started codifying our transcript, we created open codes, different esports, student and Minecraft, then we created two Excel codes, here they are, and we grouped those together to make sense and to make our data more meaningful, then we went to codes exported them to the Word document. From here, we're able to copy those snippets and insert them or integrate them into our actual research paper. Today, we tried using Delft tool to analyze qualitative data and make the analytical process more straightforward, more intuitive and simple. Hopefully this tutorial was helpful. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.